Good morning, modern steaders. It's a balmy 19 degrees out this morning. Gotta love winter. Speaking of winter, we need to prep our chicken coop for winter. Let's get that finished this morning. We gotta go over to one of the tents and pick out the chicken wire. We'll go get it. Believe and hope I have a roll of chicken wire in here. Yes, I do. I'm not super worried about keeping critters out of this part of the chicken run. This will be the chicken run, and it's got, they'll be in here during the day. So I'm not too concerned about predators during the day. They're going to be locked up at night in New York City. That's predator proof. So what I want to do today is make it so the chickens stay in and they can't get out. For me up here in northern New Hampshire, the winter chicken coop is more about function. How do we get the coop to function well and do what we need it to do throughout the winter where we don't have to spend a lot of money running electricity for heat lights and for waterers? How do we get the chickens to thrive in the normal conditions without having to baby them? We don't want to have to do that here. I found the tarps that cover lumber piles at the lumber yard were perfect. They last a while too. They have a white side and a black side, so depending on what purpose you're using them for, you might want to have a different size out. So for our one of our chicken tractors that the chickens are in the summertime, we have the white to reflect the sun. This being a winter chicken coop, I'm gonna put the black out so it attracts the sun and it should help heat up the greenhouse.
Oh, that's my mistake. I thought this tarp was 16 feet long. It's only a 12 footer. Man. Oh well, I'll use it for now and we'll have to get a longer one. Well, that's definitely a disappointment. I thought all the tops I had were 16 feet long. I'm gonna have to go buy two new ones now. One for the chicken coop and one for the pigs. Not doing that today. We don't have time for that. But let's let the chickens out, feed them, and let's go give the pigs some more hay. This is gonna be fun. I bet who else is gonna like this hot water outdoor spigot? It's going to be all the animals this winter. They'll be able to have hot water to drink. I like putting the grain right down on top of where I want the animals to scratch, peck through, and eat. We want them to start turning all this hay for us, so that's why we're feeding them right here. We want to encourage that kind of behavior in our animals. I'm hoping this keeps them in. If it does, we can bring the Icelandic chickens in over to the winter chicken coop. I bet they'll love being able to be in the bigger flock and stay warmer when it gets colder out. Mr. Biggs, you're quiet this morning. Oh, is Andy going after you? How's the warm water? Let's go give the pig some water, and then we'll bring him over some fresh hay. They're still sleeping. Now coming out to this site is never gonna get old. Good morning, girls. Buried in that hay, staying warm. Yep. Let's bring you in, see if we can show you prosciutto. She's in there somewhere. Oh, there's the other schnauzer. Good morning. Good morning. There you are. Oh, good morning. You look like happy pigs. Yep. You want some nice warm water? Yeah. Then I'll bring you some more hay. 
Took me a second to find their dish. I was hoping it wasn't back in the tote. All right, Copa. Let's get some nice warm water out here for him. They're a lot more friendly now. Huh, Copa? You're getting to know us already. Don't worry, prosciutto, you don't need to get up. I'm gonna go get the hay. Stay here and keep an eye on the pigs for me. Blowing bubbles over there. Typical kid. Give you some fresh hay. Some more bedding and some more food. Yeah. Where do you want this one? Stick it right there. How's that sound? You can eat it, you can play in it, whatever you want to do. Okay? Yeah. You can come say hello. Don't play with the camera. Well, I wasn't able to get everything done that I wanted to. That's alright. It was still a good day. The pigs are settling in nicely. All the animals are doing great in the cold weather. We're getting used to it too. We're enjoying the nice fresh smoked bacon we have in the house. All the great food we put up throughout the season. Now we get to sit back and enjoy that and just have fun. Thankful for the year. Right, pigs? Yeah. And we're looking forward to the future. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.